Hey, Soul Survivors. I have a viewer that was very open and honest about porn addiction. And uh, it was in response to a video I did and how sometimes people become more and more addicted to uh, porn. Sometimes it starts to get a little bit more freaky to certain things that they search out for and not always. So there's a couple things that I would like you to listen to. So um, a lot of narcissists are addicted to porn and they, they objectify their partner a lot of times and porn is created to do that. So he says in response, he goes, I'm probably addicted to porn, but I'm not a narcissist. So I do want to address not everybody that watches porn is a narcissist. But the reason for this video is whether they're a narcissist or just a regular guy or girl who uh, watches porn, how it affects relationships, how it affects the brain. And because he was saying, um, you know, porn addiction can cause the brain to change and it can cause uh, to cause addiction, could cause people to uh, start seeking out uh, certain things. And it also causes less satisfaction in a relationship. So um, this guy says he's not a narcissist. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. He's very honest that he's addicted to porn. And he says, uh, you know, that he still likes the, uh, traditional missionary doggy style. He's never felt the desire to seek out more and more aggressive or disgusting behavior. He says that's too freaky for me, but, uh, he also says, um, I'll find it in a second. Uh, so he says, I never needed more and more stimulation. So some people are happy just, you know, once a day and that's good or two's the limit. Uh, we all have different things, you know, some of us four or five times a day, others, you know, once or twice or sometimes once a week to give us our balance. Um, so how does this affect him later on during the day if he doesn't indulge in porn. So he says he's watched it daily for 20 years. And uh, he tended to seek out less and less freaky or disgusting sexual fantasies as time goes on. Since now he understands he doesn't like that stuff, so he doesn't seek it out at all. But there was a time where he was kind of tempted. It just didn't work for him. So, you know, just like if you were going to get drunk and it makes you feel sick, you're not going to keep seeking it out. So some things we don't get addicted to because it just doesn't work for us. It doesn't give us that high. It kind of makes us feel off. So he did seek it out for a little bit, realized he didn't like it and just gave it up. So that's good. Um, but he was still watching uh, traditional kind of relationship. So he says he used to watch anal out of curiosity, but now he immediately shuts it off. He shuts it off because it grosses him out. Now, this is probably uh, for him. It's just not his thing. You know, he's just not into that. There are other people who might feel that if they watch that, that maybe it has some homosexual tendencies that they want to hide or avoid or not admit to. I'm not saying that's what he's doing because it, it makes sense that you would be grossed out by it. Some people are. Um, so he says, I don't think that even if I forced myself to watch it, I would begin to prefer it, which makes sense, you know, just like the alcohol thing. If you're forced to drink, it doesn't mean you're going to eventually like it. Um, so yeah, forcing yourself isn't going to make you like it. Uh, he goes, people seek out their fantasies. Their fantasies don't come and seek them. So when we're exposed to certain things, it can become addicting. And he's watched it daily for 20 years. So it can be a fantasy, but this is where the problem is. When you, and I'm not saying he's a narcissist, but when you are with a narcissist, the whole relationship is fantasies. So if we're indulging in fantasies, sometimes it gets tempting. Sometimes that's what we crave. And we can utilize it as a tool to have that uh, euphoric feeling we're uh if we're doing that that you can be alone so you you get satisfied so you're not seeking out relationships so it might cause some isolation i don't know his situation on uh you know uh does he sleep around is he only one, one person is he married does he just date uh all those kind of things but if you're in a relationship, it can cause problems. It can cause the other person to start feeling insecurities or not attended to because, you know, you have that energy and you're giving it 
to a television set and study your partner. And sometimes we do it as coping mechanisms. Sometimes it's a release from stress. And what happens though, if you go without it, because he's been watching it daily. So just like your uh, person smoking cigarettes, they're like, I can quit any time. I just don't want to, but I could. And there are people out there who could. Some people go cold turkey. Other people can't. So we're all different. And, you know, how it affects the brain. Um, because there are certain things that can go on the brain when you start becoming addicted to porn. And uh, a lot of it is uh, the um, dopamine hit. So we all experience the thrill a little bit different, just like uh, what we feel on a roller coaster. Some are like, that was kind of lame. Others are like, oh my God, that was terrifying. So the dopamine hits are going to be different. He's conditioned his brain where it's pretty much daily and he's getting that daily dose. So his, it's very um, consistent. But when it starts becoming inconsistent, that's when cravings start, uh, withdrawal start. And if he was not able to do it daily, you know, he went to jail or the hospital, um, you can still do it those places, I guess. But if, if you're unable to do it, uh, you know, to get to that euphoric state, are you going to be more aggressive? Are you going to uh, have coping mechanisms with stress? Are you going to be more agitated? Are you going to be more restless, unable to sleep? So it is working for him. But in a relationship, uh, just like the more people that you've been with, the more people you can compare to. And, you know, you can be in this relationship and get creative. Like I watched this one porn video and that would be a great idea. What do you think? Do you want to do that with me? And they do it. There can be a letdown because like they could think like that didn't turn out how I wanted as opposed to um, just being involved in that moment. There might be certain expectations based on something that you watched. So the more partners you have, the higher chance of divorce from your past. Um, and that's because you can compare things. Like I used to get flowers for, you know, every Friday and this guy I'm with now doesn't do that. You start comparing as opposed to, oh my gosh, he gave me flowers. And then it's just Tuesday. Um, our, our expectations change. And like I said in that video, how they hone in on the act or the body part that you start um, not realizing people for who they truly are, it becomes more targeted. And he says, it's not because porn damaged their mind and made them do it. That is, of course, an excuse for bad behavior. So um, it's interesting that you called it, this just clicked, uh, that you called it bad behavior. Um so there's probably something where you're like, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be watching it. Otherwise you would call it probably something different than bad behavior. And it could be societal things that are telling him it's bad behavior. Um, and uh, what was the other thing? Um, there was one other thing that I wasn't, I can't remember what it was. Uh, aggressive, okay. Uh, I've never felt to seek out more and more aggressive or disgusting behavior. So um, there's something disgusting about going one step further um, and aggressive. Uh, so um, he likes to keep it within traditional senses. But the point is, is that not everybody watching porn is a narcissist. And I will agree with that. And he's been very open and honest about this. And as far as the brain chemicals, he's uh, just like that smoker. I don't know what withdrawal would be like, uh, according to his writings here. Now, I haven't interviewed him, gotten in deeply, has he ever gone a week without it? But sometimes we don't even realize uh, when we start getting a little agitated or short or snippy with people that could happen with him. Um, so he, he's found a balance for him and he's still con, con, continually doing it seems to be working for him, but what is the, uh, 
extended portion of it? Is he having a fulfilled relationship or is he more content being alone because he takes care of business on his own? So he's missing out on a relationship passively or deepening and building that connection with who he could be with. So that's something to consider because um, when you're in a relationship and uh, you start watching porn, it can it can be devastating. People see it. Some some people see it as cheating because it is taking away from how your partner is going to feel. And that's where the relationship is. The empathy is. Do you have empathy for your partner? Uh, some some partners might kind of not want to indulge in sex. There's uh, the sexual incompatibility. Sometimes we use fillers for that, such as porn or other things. So he doesn't cheat or go outside the box. But um, the brain chemicals over time do change. You expect that and he's uh getting older i mean it's been 20 years testosterone levels are going to drop so some of his changes in behavior are more likely age related to testosterone or uh, it just takes longer do i have enough time to do this or i'm frustrated it's, i gotta you know tickle myself too much, uh, where it's not um, as quick, because usually people uh, can watch porn for that instant gratification. And if you're in a relationship over time, it might turn into forget about the foreplay, I just want to get to the end. So thank you for being extremely honest. Um Porn, uh, like you said, people do seek out what they're interested in, but it latches on to you. Some people can go years without watching it again, but you watch it every year or every day. And it can be fun. It can be thrilling. It can be exciting, but it can alter your brain. You might not see what it's doing because it's being fed. It's being fed consistently. When you're with um, a narcissist, we have that trauma bond because of the inconsistencies and it uh, causes a, a super tight addiction. And it's just something to be aware of. So I'm not saying he's a narcissist by any means. He's been very honest. So thank you for that. One-on-ones are available. Topic requests are welcome. And you know, uh, it just affects relationships. So some of us are happy being alone, but if you want a fulfilling relationship, we're social beings. We're meant to be with people. And I appreciate your honesty.